Isang magandang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat ng mga nakikinig sa kanika nilang tahanan. Mga kabataan, kumusta kayo sa inyo? At sa oras na ito, pupuriin natin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah. Let's pray. God, maraming maraming salamat po muli sa mga oras na ito na kami yung pinagkatipon. O oh God, iningatan mo kami nitong nagdaang mga araw, Panginoon. God, maraming maraming salamat. Patuloy ka namin tinataas sa aming buhay. Patuloy ka namin niluluwa lahat at sinasamba. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, Amen and Amen.
you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Take my 
just like to repeat the last verse. No? Let us sing this song with all our hearts. Come on. Wherever you are, anong ginagawa mo, sing it with all your heart. Hallelujah. sa amin, Panginoon. Sa bawat sitwasyon na meron kami, sa lahat ng aming pinagdadaanan, Ikaw ang siyang lahat ng katugunan, O God. Maraming marami sa mga, salamat po sa mga oras na ito na pinagkaloob mo po sa bawat isa sa amin. At sa mga kabataan na sa kanilang tahanan, God, touch their heart na mas maintindihan pa nila ang mensahe sa mga oras na ito, God. Patuloy ka namin pinupuri, tinataas, tinadakila, at sinasamba. Sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Hello everyone. We welcome you all here. This is Extreme Generation Online Announcements. But first, write a comment, react, and tag your friends on this stream. Also share this on your profile so many people will be reached by the Word of God. Now, here's the schedule for our services this week. Sunday Cell Celebration that starts exactly 9 in the morning on our GGSFI Bacoor FB page. We also have live stream midweek service every Wednesday, 7 p.m. also live on GGSFI Bacoor FB page. For the youths and singles, we have Extreme Generation Online every Saturday, 7 p.m. on this page. With this, let us keep our heart's desire to know God more and be in His presence. So mark this date so you won't miss what God is about to do. For the giving of tithes and offering, here are our church's bank accounts. A 
Again, this is Extreme Generation Online. Hello, good evening everyone, and welcome to Extreme Generation. Ayan, I'm so happy to be back preaching again after my three month leave. Um, ayan, praise God kasi three months na rin si baby. <laughs> so sa lahat ng youth dyan, no? Ayan, napakabilis ng araw, kaya enjoy your youth, um, enjoy your life, your single <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, I'd like to greet everyone an advance Merry Christmas and Happy 2021. Okay, so this year has been so so tough for everyone. No exemption, lahat tayo grabi yung dinanas natin. Ah, walang walang exempted, di ba? Pero tonight. I'm so excited to to share to you diba? that, that in spite of um, what's happening until today, diba? Parang last, since March, diba? Next start sa atin yung pandemic, parang with many people, there are no more reasons to celebrate. Parang this will be the saddest um, Christmas of the year. So, pwede yung iba, no? Kot naman. Yung iba nga, may mga posts na ano, um, grabe ka, 2020, di ba? Hindi ka pala tumitigil. <laughs> Pero tayo, because we are, we are in the Lord, we are with God, di ba? Hindi tayo titigil, dapat purihin si Lord, no? Dahil, I know that there are many reasons, there are a lot of reasons na para i-celebrate natin yung goodness ni Lord, i-celebrate natin si Jesus Christ, Okay? So, ayan, bago ang lahat, let's have our prayer first, okay? Hallelujah. Father, thank you so much, God, for this um, night. Thank you for another opportunity, Lord, that you have given us to hear your word. God, we acknowledge you. We acknowledge your power, your sovereignty. Thank you, God, for giving us the best gift in our lives, which is your one and only son jesus christ and tonight we're gonna celebrate about it we're gonna learn about it panginoon and we're so excited lord to celebrate we are so grateful panginoon of what you have done in our lives god in the midst of this pandemic lord god we are um happy lord we are thankful panginoon that you remain faithful in our lives lord god kahit na may mga pagkukulang kami panginoon or some of us panginoon maybe um nangihina sa kanilang faith or lord they don't know the essence anymore of this life but god tonight we are here we are humbled by you um open our hearts lord god to receive your word fully lord we surrender our hearts we surrender everything to you and we just want to listen to your very word lord maraming maraming salamat po we allow you to move completely thank you holy spirit in jesus name amen okay so yan um last week the discuss ni kuya Oliver was about um, celebrate giving. Okay, so we are to celebrate generosity, no? So, yung iba, parang sabi nila, um, hindi pula silang magbibigay, di ba? So, yeah, tinuro sa atin last week na hindi, di ba? We, God is faithful and um, we, we, He will always provide, 
everything that we need so that we can also give for other people okay so ngayon naman i'm just so excited now to share to you our topic tonight and it's about yeah and celebrate jesus okay so yeah and this is the um the most special celebration i think na hindi lang siya tuwing ano dapat no we don't just celebrate jesus every christmas diba yung iba sadly no nagse celebrate lang sino celebrate lang si lord nagpupunta lang ng church tuwing christmas tuwing new year diba <laughs> so sino relate doon no pero right now that we know God, we know Jesus more. Yeah. We ha we are we have many reasons to celebrate and every day should be a celebration for our King Jesus. Okay? So let's first define what is the meaning of celebration or what does celebrate mean. Okay? So celebrate means to acknowledge, honor, or mark. Okay? Diba, um, when we celebrate someone Diba? For example, someone has a birthday and for example, um, yung, yung may birthday na yun, diba? family member mo or mahal mo sa buhay. Diba? Ang pinaka-goal ng, ng celebration is para pasayahin yung isang tao. Diba? Para i-acknowledge. Diba? Yung, yung, para i-mark yung araw na yun. That, that is really a special day. Diba? For him or for her. And yung pinaka-goal natin is to make them happy. And most of us, we do surprises. Diba? We celebrate tayo. Diba? So, ako nga, um, kami nga po, um, every month, um, na magma-monthly si Luca, si baby, um, may konti kaming kainan. <laughs> we are celebrating for his milestone. Diba? And I realized, no, um, what more kay Jesus Christ? Diba? What more na i-celebrate natin si Jesus Christ sa buhay natin? So, gaano siya dapat pala ka-special? Kasi Jesus is not just Jesus, but He is, you know, He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He is our God. No? Okay, so, yan. So, sabi dito, celebration, celebrating Jesus is not just, um, every Christmas, but it should be every day of our lives. As long as we live, we will celebrate. No? And, yan. And, meron akong ano pala? Trivia. Yan. Meron muna akong trivia before I, I share my key points. Okay? Yan. So, do you remember when Jesus was born in Bethlehem? Okay? And then, nalaman na sa lugar that a king was born. Okay? So, may pumuntang mga wise men. Okay? And may daladala silang mga gifts. May daladala silang gifts kay Jesus. So, tatlo yun. Yan. Alam nyo ba yun? Are you familiar with that three gifts? So, um, yun ay gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Okay? So, um, natanong nyo ba, di ba, itong gold, itong frankincense, frankincense and yung mirror, di ba? Ano ba siya? Um, kailangan ba siya ng baby? Di ba? Di ba? Kasi yun ay mga, ano, mga bato-bato. Okay? So, those are like, um, I think, uh, mga magagandang klase ng bato. Di ba? We have gold. Yan. So, I realized na hindi naman to kailangan ni Jesus ng baby siya. Eh, di ba? Kasi mostly, pag ang niregalo sa baby, pag bagong panganak, di ba? Yan, mga gifts, mga clothes, di ba? Yung mga essentials ng babies. Pero, you know what? What's really different here was that um, these gifts are not just really gifts, material gifts or things. Pero itong mga to, it symbolizes um, something. Okay? So, number one, yung gold. Alam nyo ba yung gold? Yung pinaka-symbol nun, kaya siya binigay kay Jesus, was that um, gold symbolizes or is associated with kings and Christians believing that Jesus is the king. Okay? Or simply means um, this is the, ki the kingship of Jesus Christ. Okay? And the, the second one, frankincense, yan. It's an aromatic gum or like a stone, an 
from an African tree and is burned as an incense. So, nagiging ano siya, incense siya. Okay? So, ayan, dyan yung mga pictures, pwede yung tignan. Okay? And, ginagawa siya, it symbolizes, it shows the worship of people to Jesus and it symbolizes prayer and Jesus as the mediator. Okay? And last is yung mirror. It's a perfume ointment that is put on dead bodies to make them smell nice. Diba? Bakit binigyan si Jesus, si baby Jesus that time? <laughs> diba? And it actually sabi, um, it symbolizes, it shows that Jesus would suffer and will die. So, grabe, diba? Baby pa lang, alam na yung future. So, ganun ka-powerful si Jesus. Ganun siya talaga yung tinakda ng Lord, ng, ng, ng Father God in Heaven. Okay? Pero if you would ask, yun nga, balikan natin, hindi naman talaga kailangan ito lahat ng Jesus, diba? So, Jesus actually he does not need any material gifts from us. So, wala siyang kailangan. Hindi niya kailangan yan. Hindi niya kailangan na bilang mo, Si Jesus ng iPhone, di ba? Ng house and lot. Because Jesus owns everything. Jesus is the Alpha. He is the Omega. He is the richest man in the world. Okay, that's Jesus. Okay, so ngayong gabi, I would like to ask you, no, if it's not material things, um, what would be your get your best gift for Jesus. So, ano yung pinaka best or yung mga best gifts na pwede mong ibigay kay Jesus? Okay? And how will you celebrate Jesus? All right? So, natanong niyo ba 'yon? Ano kaya mabibigay ko kay Jesus this Christmas, no? Ano kaya pwede ko sa kanyang iregalo? All right. So, ngayon gabi, I'm going to talk about how do we celebrate Jesus? Alright, so since Jesus doesn't really need material things, so I have here, I made an acronym from Jesus' name, yung name ni Jesus itself, I made an acronym up from J-E-S-U-S, -S, okay? So how do we celebrate Jesus? So number one, number one point here, yeah, we celebrate Jesus joyfully, okay? So that's number one. And yeah, I'd like to read in Zechariah 9.9, sabi dyan, um, Rejoice greatly, daughter Zion. Shout, daughter Jerusalem. See your king comes to you, righteous and victorious, lowly and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. Yeah, grabe. So this was uh, a vision about Jesus Christ. So Old Testament, na vision na pagdating ng king, which is si Jesus Christ. And, grabe na, no, sabi dito, rejoice greatly. Yan, matuwa kayo, magalak kayo. Yan, and also in Matthew 2.10, yan, sabi dito, when they saw the star, they were overjoyed. Okay? Because that star symbolizes the birth of Jesus Christ. Sabi pa nga, yun yung naging location nila. Yun yung naging location na nasundan nila ng mga wise men para punta si Jesus Christ. Okay? So, could you see that word? Overjoyed. Rejoice greatly. Yan. Ganun pala dapat natin isin-celebrate si Jesus. Diba? Nang nalaman ng wise men na nandiyan si Jesus, grabe yung celebration, diba? Yung pinakamahal, yung binigay nila, ginto, diba? Hindi lang yun. Um, they actually, ano, um, gave the best that they could really give Jesus for sure. Okay? So, that's how we celebrate the Lord. Um, God always wants us to be, you know, joyful, to be grateful. Um, na, alam mo yun, as we, since lalo na tayo, nakakilala tayo kay Lord, we know Jesus is in our heart, no? Although there are many trials, pero, ang gusto ni Jesus is, we always come to Him with a joyful heart. Yeah, nag-glorify dun si Lord. Masaya si Lord, natutuwa siya. Diba? As a celebrant, diba? Or a celebrator, natutuwa siya na, uy, yung, itong, itong, si Claire, ang saya naman niya, we worship niya ako, ang saya niya, diba? He, she is always overjoyed, diba? So, ganun yung gusto na heart ni Lord na meron tayo. Joyful. Okay? So, ayan. And, number two, ayan, J, 
kanina, joyfully, ngayon naman, e, excellently. Alright, so Jesus wants us to be excellent in everything that we do. So that, you know, we could glorify Him more. So that people will know that we are reflecting the life of Jesus Christ. Okay, so sa Daniel 6.3, I, I, like, I like this verse, di ba? Kasi si Daniel, he is really an excellent man of God. So lahat ng ginagawa niya talaga, even yung pagkain niya, excellent. He chose the excellent food, di ba? He chose yung fruits, vegetables instead of junk foods, instead of ano, lahat. So excellent siya in his living. Okay? So, sabi sa Daniel 6.3, then, this Daniel became distinguished above all the other high officials and satraps because an excellent spirit was in him and the king planned to set him over the whole kingdom. Okay. So, ganun, ganun pala dapat, no? Parang ano, meron tayong spirit of excellence just like, sorry, just like Daniel. Okay. So, um, gusto ng Lord na... <clears throat> Ayun, we always give the best because he is the be he is the best God. He is not just an ordinary God, but Jesus is an excellent God. Okay? So he expects us to be excellent. Okay? Paano? So in everything, we could excel. Like for example, in terms of giving, lalo na ngayong Pasko, di ba? Um, gusto ni Lord, we share our blessings. So we don't just give but we give generously. We give excellently. Okay? We don't just worship Jesus, but we worship Jesus excellently with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Okay? So when we acknowledge Jesus, not just, Lord, thank you for this, Lord, but we really exalt Him. We really, you know, give um, the best in worship, in prayer. Okay? Yan. So, sabi dito, um, we need to be diligent, maging masigasig tayo in serving the Lord. We give our best. Kahit online lang yan, di ba? You give your best to your disciples. You give your best to your parents, sa bahay. So, in everything that you do, you do it for Jesus. Actually, masayang masayang na si Jesus for that. Okay? And next is, letter S, significantly. Yan. We celebrate Jesus significantly. Okay? So, in Matthew 1.21, sabi dyan, She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. So, Jesus was really a set-apart God, na talagang he is the most important nung nagdiri siya sa earth. Man, he is the most important man in the world. Okay? So, ganun siya ka, ano eh, ka-significant. And gusto ng Lord kung paano niya tayo pinapahalagaan, kung, kung paano tayo very significant kay Jesus na namatay siya sa cross for us. Ganun din gusto ni Jesus na gawin natin sa Kanya. ba How? By simply making Jesus as our priority. Okay? We should live our lives na priority talaga natin si Jesus. Diba? Kasi pag hindi talaga, paulit-ulit tayo, no? If you have wrong priorities, the outcome will be wrong as well. Diba? So, so sobrang powerful yan. Diba? Like, for example, ako, um, pabainong na ako ibang bagay before my devotion, I really feel anxious. I really feel na I'm not really productive. Kasi ganun talaga siya. Ganun yung nagiging fruit niya. Kapag ka hindi si Lord yung inuna natin sa buhay natin, we... Always remember, remember, we will not be productive, we will not be happy, we will not be successful in life, okay? Why? Kasi originally, ganun yung ginawa ni Lord sa atin, na pinakita niya na um, significant tayo sa Kanya. Okay? So, ganun niya tayo kamahal. And so, um, He deserves it. Jesus deserves it more. Okay? Yan. So, again, make Jesus your priority. Diba? Kahit na you're busy and pandemic or what whatsoever circumstances in might come our way, siya talaga dapat yung priority natin. 
Okay? And di ba pagka, ano ka, pagka si celebrate ka, celebrator ka, ik ikaw talaga yung pinaka-priority, di ba? And bilang celebrator, ano yung nararamdaman mo? Masaya ka. Di ba? So, ganun din nararamdaman ni Jesus kapag priority natin siya. Kung pinaparamdam natin kay Jesus na, Lord, you are significant in our lives, Grabe, Jesus is so pleased. Jesus is so happy. Diba? Ayan. So, pakiligin mo naman si Jesus. Make him your priority. Okay? And next letter is unendingly. Okay. So, in Revelation 5.13, it says there, and I, and I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them saying, to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. Wow! Grabe! So, diba? Parang yung isa sa mga ano na favorite verses ko, diba? That every knee and every tongue, diba? Every knee will bow down and every tongue that shall confess that Jesus is the Lord, diba? So, yun yung gusto ni Lord na unlimited na endlessly we will worship the Lord until He comes back. Diba? Yun yung, yun yung masarap na makita tayo ni Lord na we will remain faithful until the end. No? So, yan. Because Jesus, He never changes. Diba? Sabi sa, sa Hebrews 5, uh, sorry, 13.8, sabi doon, um, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. <laughs> So, ganun si Lord, hindi siya nagbabago talaga. So, tayo lang naman yung nagbabago. Diba? So, di ba masarap yun? Di ba sa isang relationship, di ba? Kapag ka stick to one, di ba? Masaya yung partner, right? So, what more si Lord? Di ba? If you are just sticking to Him alone, you will not you will not choose to go back to your old life anymore. Di ba? hindi na ikaw bumabalik sa dati kung sino-sino na yung pinagbibisihan mo, pinagkakabisihan mo, or yung mga tao na nagiging kaagaw na ni Lord sa life mo, or nare-replace na sa life mo. Ayan, malungkot si Lord. Hindi yun good gift para sa kanya. Hindi siya, um, yun, it's not pleasing to God. So, we really need to to stay the same because Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Actually, mas lalo pa nga natin paalabin yung pagmamahal natin kay Lord unendingly. Diba? Kasi forever, until forever, until He comes back, diba? He will always be the same. What you, what Jesus has promised us, He will fulfill it. Diba? So, let's do the same, no? That our love to Jesus will always be unending, will always be, you know, will always last until forever. Okay? Ayan. So, <coughs> yeah. And when you say unendingly, then, de ba? It means walang katapusan, no? So let's always acknowledge Jesus. Walang katapusan. Maganda or pang ito nang yari sa atin. Dapat walang katapusan. Um, na nasambahin natin si Lord. Walang katapusan na pasalamatan natin si Lord. So ako nga no, lalo na this pandemic, mas nagkaroon ako ng 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 heart na talagang natutunan ko na magpasalamat kay Lord kahit sa maliliit na bagay lang. Diba? I always thank God every time na, for example, um, umaga na naman, diba? Lord, thank you for another day, for another um, day to live our life. Lord, buhay pa kami. And then when I see my family na wala nagkakasakit, Lord, thank you. And even yung pag, um, pagpasok ni Lander or pauwi siya, diba? May husband. Um, I always thank God na Lord, umuwi siyang safe. Thank you so much. And kapag may nakahain sa amin na pagkain, kahit anong pagkain pa yan, Lord, thank you for thank you for the food. And <clears throat> doon ko nakikita na, grabe, ang sarap pala sa feeling. Every time I acknowledge Jesus, I acknowledge God. Mas lalong, alam mo yun, mas lalong, um, <clears throat> mas lalong mong nabibigyan ng praise si Lord, di ba? Mas na-acknowledge mo na, mas ma matututunan mo alam mo sa sarili mo na apart from me apart from Jesus apart from God you can do nothing tiba so um it ituro natin yun tiba sa iba tiba na sa kahit sa maliliit na bagay um we acknowledge the Lord okay that's unendingly 
Diba? So, unstoppable na pag acknowledge kay Lord for all that He has done in our lives. Okay? Ayan. And, wow, tapos na. Alright. So, last is letter S. Okay? So, tapos na tayo sa J-E-S-U. So, ngayon naman is S or selflessly. Gusto ni Lord din talaga one of the best gifts na bibigay natin kay Lord is when we live selflessly. Kasi, si God is the most or the best example of being selfless. Okay? So, napaka-selfless ng Lord. He gave everything. He gave His life. He died for you and for me. So, that's being selfless. Literal na selfless. Na wala na ang self. <laughs> na wala ang buhay. Diba? That's being selfless. Okay? And, if you would ask me, magagawa ko ba yun? Diba? Selfless. Paano mo maging selfless? Of course. Diba? Because I believe that once you surrender your life to Jesus, unti-unti mong mas matututunan kung paano maging selfless. Kung paano mas isipin na si Lord more than anyone, more than anything. Kung paano mas isipin na yung ibang tao more than yourself. Diba? That's being selfless. Okay? So, I will read a verse in Isaiah 12.4. In that day you will say, Give praise to the Lord, proclaim His name, make known among the nations what He has done, and proclaim that His name is exalted. Wow, grabe. Okay, so, proclaim that His name is exalted. Okay, so that's an example of being selfless. Hindi lang natin sinasarili kung sino si Jesus Christ. Hindi lang natin sinasarili kung ano yung um, kayang gawin ni Jesus Christ or yung mga ginagawa niya sa life natin. But we are, you know, we are happily sharing Jesus Christ to other people. And in every season, you know what? The best gift that we could ever give to a person, to our family, to our friends, to our relatives at kahit sino pa yan nakakilala mo not material things I'm telling you but the best gift that you could really ever give to someone is Jesus Christ so yun yung pinaka best na mabibigay natin sa ibang tao yung salvation na kay Jesus lamang makukuha yung, yung eternal light na marami ang hindi nakakaalam na marami ang nagstick na lang akala nila this Ito na yung life. Akala nila, ganito na lang. Antay na lang mag-coronavirus. Mawala na lang, di ba? Ma matatapos din ang lahat. Gubuho din ang mundo. Hindi eh. There's more to life. Okay? There's more to life here. And, yan. Yan yung pinaka-best na masyashare natin sa iba. Si Jesus Christ. Okay? And, yan. Kasi si Jesus all in eh. Pag share mo si Jesus, everything follows lahat ng gusto mo, material things, it will follow. If you have Jesus, yan, kumbaga package. Yan, daig pa ang Shopee 1212. <laughs> okay, so ganun si Jesus, ganun siya ka-special, ganun siya ka-powerful, ganun siya dapat sineselebrate, ganun, ganun si Jesus Christ. Okay? Yan. And also, this Christmas, um, being selfless as well is about um, giving the best for other people, okay? So, of course, ni lang naman more on spiritual, we could give, but also we can extend our help to others, diba? So, for example, if you know someone needy, diba, pwede kang tumulong ng kahit ano, lalo na sa panahon ngayon, diba, marami na wala ng trabaho, so we could extend our help, diba? So, marami ng way para makatulong tayo sa iba. And once we do that, we are showing our love to other people, pinapakita natin yung love na sa ibang tao, you know what, Jesus is very, very happy. Diba? Ang Lord ay pinakamasaya na. Diba? Kasi yung gusto niya, yun yung pinakagusto niya gawin natin. Yun yung purpose natin eh. Diba? Not just to love Him, but to love other people too. Okay? So, yan. We should be generous to other people. Okay. So, yan. And, um, for, and, for the VIPs or mga first time na mag-tune in dito sa ating live, Extreme Generation, okay? So, pwede, um, for you, hindi mo alam paano si celebrate si Jesus, hindi mo pa siya ganun kakilala, hindi mo pa siya 
ganun na um parang alam mo yun kilala mo lang siya as Jesus pero you know that you don't have a personal relationship with him right now yan i'd like you to um open your heart diba just three things diba na nagusto ni Lord for us for you okay so three things okay so just admit that you've gone wrong na nagkasala ka kay Jesus i admit mo lang yan sa sarili mo that um hindi mo kaya mag-isa okay ang alawa just believe believe by faith that Jesus died at the cross that he loves you so much and that he is gonna save your life okay and commit right this time right this night um karon ka sa heart mo ng ng desire na mag-commit na mas kilalanin pa si Jesus Christ sa buhay mo okay so ayan kasi mas masarap pag celebrate kapag kilalang kilala mo yung celebrator diba so ayan i will lead you to prayer for those who is just for just first time here okay just repeat after me kahit nandiyan ka lang sa bahay nanonood Father God thank you for giving up your son Jesus Christ Lord tonight I have learned that I need to celebrate what Jesus has done for me and God right now I admit that I have gone wrong that I have sinned against you against other people forgive me Lord forgive me and I accept your forgiveness by the blood of Jesus and Lord right now I believe that Jesus Christ died for me that Jesus Christ has set a good future for me and that he will never leave me nor forsake me and also Lord God right now I open my heart I commit my life to you Lord gusto ko po pong matutunan kung ano yung tama gusto ko po pong mamuhay Panginoon na mayroong peace sa heart in spite of what's happening around Lord I thank you I commit myself Lord God, and right now, I accept you, Jesus Christ, as my personal Lord and Savior. Come and take control of me. Thank you, Lord. I offer my life to you. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Okay. Ayan. So, yan. Review muna tayo, no? Ano ulit yung J-E-S-U-S natin. Okay. So, let's celebrate Jesus. Okay, J for joyfully, E for excellently, S for significantly, U for an, and S for selflessly. Okay, so tadaan natin yun. These are just simple ways kung paano natin masisi-celebrate yung goodness ni Lord. Again, not just every Christmas, but every day of our lives. Okay? So, I hope that you learned something. So, let us rejoice. Maging masaya tayo. Magpasalamat tayo kay Lord. Kasi pag lagi tayo nagpapasalamat, alam mo yon. lalo niya tayo yung i-bless. Kasi nakikita ni Lord na appreciate mo lahat. So, diba? Blessing will overflow. Blessing will come your way. More and more. Okay? So, ayan. I will pray for everyone. Okay? Okay? Hallelujah. Father, thank you for this night. Thank you for your word. Thank you, God, that you have taught us the right way to celebrate, Lord God. Not just, it's not about material things, Lord God, because you don't need all these things. But Lord, yung gusto mo sa amin is yung puso namin. Yung gusto mo sa amin that we will serve you joyfully, Lord God, that we will um, serve you, Lord God, excellently, um, significantly, unendingly, and selflessly. Lord, thank you and let your word be, become so powerful in our lives, Lord God, that we will be able to apply it, Panginoon. Lalong lalo na we want to glorify your name and we want, Lord God, to help other people na mas makilala ka because we know, Lord God, that this season, this, um, ano nga na sa panahon ngayon, Lord God, yun yung pinaka-best gift na mabibigay namin sa ibang tao, Lord, and that is you, Jesus. And that is the life that comes from you. Lord, thank you sa lahat po na nagsistream, nanonood, Panginoon, sa gabing ito, pagpalain mo sila. 
kanilang family, mag-celebrate together, Lord God. Ikaw yung maging sentro ng bawat tahanan ng yung Pasko. Lord God, matatapos tong taon na to, Panginoon, that we will celebrate your goodness, Lord, na hindi kami magdidwal sa mga pangit na nangyari nung nakaraan, Lord God, at sa mga darating pa, perhaps, Lord God. But Lord, we will celebrate more, we will focus more on what you have done, Jesus on what are what you are doing in our lives lord thank you thank you lord maraming maraming salamat jesus for dying on the cross for giving us new life panginoon we love you we honor you and we bless you god in jesus name amen and amen okay so i will end in this verse in titus 2 13 it says there okay waiting for our blessed hope the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay. So, ayan. Um, maging patient tayo. Let's remain faithful. Let's continue to love God and to love other people more. Diba? Because our hope, walang iba. Sabi siya, our hope only comes from the Lord. It only comes from Jesus Christ. Okay. So, ayan lang. Thank you so much, guys. And, kita kids tayo ulit next week and ayun, ang mga natin, ang mga susunod pa. Alright. Thank you and God bless you everyone. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. For those who are new here, we gladly welcome you. If you have questions, you are free to message us. If you want to know more about Jesus or maybe you are deciding to start a new life with Him, we encourage you to be part of his cell. You can also message us on this page. Again, this is Extreme Generation Online.